There are plenty of bird life here at the moment, but the only thing I'm being bitten by here is mosquitoes, and they're pretty bad today. G'day, Sam my Shelley, the Aussie Jackass, and today I'm going to find out where the movie Jaws actually came from. Hint, spoiler, it's in New Jersey. It was July 1st, 1916, just on dusk in a town called Beach Haven along the Jersey Shore. The first victim, a 25-year-old man, Charles Van Sant, who went out for an evening swim. It is told that just like the movie, Charles followed a dog into the water that evening. Soon after, something grabbed his leg and tore away a huge chunk of flesh. He screamed and was pulled from the water, but soon bled out from his injuries. At the time, there was uncertainty about whether the man-eating creature was actually a shark. Just five days after the first attack, on July 6th, 45 miles north of Beach Haven in Spring Lake, a shark, likely the same one, claimed another victim, a Swiss tourist, Charles Bruder. He was bitten in the abdomen before his legs were bitten off below the knees, turning the water red, they said. He was dead before the mangled body was brought ashore. At this point, fear began to spread. Newspapers started running headlines about shark attacks and beachgoers took to the water with more hesitation. The rogue great white shark traveled 30 miles north of Spring Lake and into Matawan Creek. And on July 12th, Lester Stilwell, 11 years of age, was playing in the creek 16 miles inland when the shark attacked. A young man named Watson Stanley Fisher attempted to save the boy but was fatally injured in the process. Both Lester and Watson were killed in these attacks. Joseph Dunn was a bit luckier. The teenager, the shark's fifth victim, was bitten in the creek less than half an hour later, but he survived. The shark's ferocious spree is said to have served as inspiration for the movie Jaws. Now, do you remember this part of the movie? They actually reference these attacks. The situation is that apparently a great white shark has staked a claim in the waters off Amity Island. And he is going to continue to feed here as long as there is food in the water. And there's no limit to what he's going to do. I mean, we've already had three incidents. Two people killed inside of a week, and it's going to happen again. It happened before. The Jersey Beach. 1916, 1916 there were five, five people, people chewed up in the surf. In Tell one them. week. If you open the beaches on the 4th of July, it's like ringing the dinner bell, for Christ's sake. Look, sakes. Mr. Vaughan, for Christ's sake, tomorrow's the 4th of July. The final story was that a great white shark was caught nearby, according to the newspapers of the Times. It yielded body parts of two of the victims from Matawan Creek. The shark itself was put on display in somebody's shop in New York and yielded a nice dividend of money for the owner who charged so much per head to actually see it. So with this knowledge I have taken it upon myself to educate other geocachers on these events by placing a five stage adventure lab series in some key areas around Matawan. So here it is, right here is one of the locations itself where the actual young boy was taken. It was just the other side of this culvert itself. And of course, New Jersey being New Jersey, or should I say, uh, USA being USA, they make this mural for Jaws, of course, of all things. And this here, of course, is gonna be another location for one of my Adventure Lab points. Have a look at that. That's actually pretty cool. It's a pretty cool mural. It has been here for a few years. It kind of maybe needs an upgrade but it is low tide at the moment as well so you can see the actual water level itself is down quite low and you can see where the level would normally be where the mud is i think it was a high tide maybe that reflection would actually look a lot better with this particular mural anyway off to the next waypoint for this adventure lab so this tribute right here is in memory of those attacks and the bravery by Lester to try and help the 11 year old boy. And of course, this is gonna be one of the locations right here of my adventure lab.
right here is going to be Waypoint 3 for the Adventure Lab. Now it's the same sort of memorial in regards to the same two people that was over there before, but this one is in a memorial garden. Have a look at this memorial garden dedicated to all the residents here who've lost their lives for different reasons, whether that be in World Wars or even the 9-11 as well. This here is going to be waypoint four for this adventure lab itself. Now, I got told in previous comments as well, these right here, they're not Canadian geese, they're Canada geese, because apparently they don't have passports. But anyway, I'll still call them Canadian geese, <laughs> just to upset those birders out there. So there you go, how cool is that? The birthplace of Jaws, based on a true story, based loosely on a true story. If you like this video, don't forget to give it that thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already done so. This is C. Michelle, and as always, I'm over and out. <laughs>